Accidents are common in the workplace. This video was created for educational and safety awareness purposes. We'll show recreated or documented scenes as examples, explain how they happened, and how to prevent them in real life. Do not attempt to recreate any of these situations. Let's start with a funny one. This young worker is trying to secure a metal support bar used to hold up the rolling shutter, but he doesn't position it correctly. The bar slips out of its slot and falls backward. The man sitting behind him doesn't see it coming. The heavy metal rod lands directly on his foot. He lifts the bar again but does the same mistake. Even small handling errors like this can cause serious injuries. That's why every tool or object that supports weight, even something as simple as a shutter bar, must always be locked firmly into place before letting go. This worker is unloading sacks from a moving conveyor. He tries to keep pace with the machine. In that moment, timing slips and he ends up caught between two belts. It's a reminder that workflow design matters. Machines should support the worker's rhythm, not rush it. This worker steps under the press machine to adjust a part, not realizing it's still active. Without a clear signal or lockout system, he can't see the danger coming. Every machine should have a visual or audible alert because awareness starts with design. Everything seemed normal at first. Workers followed the routine steps and the machine worked as usual, but without proper maintenance, small mechanical issues can grow unnoticed. Delayed maintenance can cause sudden loss of control. Most malfunctions like this don't appear instantly. They build up over time. Regular inspection and preventive maintenance are what keep these systems stable and predict. The operator was found stuck after the press cycle ended. This indicates a failure in the machine's safety system, likely from missing interlocks or delayed maintenance. Such outcomes show why safety circuits and emergency stops must always remain functional and tested before each shift. The lifting unit continued moving because the operator couldn't see the worker standing in its path. In such areas, blind spots are common, especially around large coils and moving equipment. Safe zones and marked walkways must separate pedestrian routes from machine paths. Proximity sensors or automatic stop systems can detect motion where human vision fails. The best prevention is simple. Workers should never remain inside the machine's travel line. The worker entered the washing area while the system was still powered. The rotating brush started automatically and caught nearby objects, including the worker's clothing. This kind of incident happens when energy isolation is skipped before cleaning or inspection. Always disconnect and verify zero energy before entering any automated system. The worker was unaware that the cycle was still active. This shows how critical clear visual and sound indicators are in automated systems. When machines restart silently or without warning lights, workers lose awareness of active motion. Cycle status indicators and interlocked access doors prevent such misunderstandings. Before approaching any machine, Always verify the cycle has fully stopped, not just paused. The operator reached behind the press while the cycle was still active. This kind of risk occurs when the cycle status isn't visible. A physical barrier or interlocked guard would have prevented access during movement. Clear lighting, warning signals, and cycle indicators remind operators that the system is still running. Prevention begins with design. Equipment must make unsafe actions impossible, not just unlikely.